Bratwurst. Bratwurst this. Bratwurst that. I'm supposed to try it and report back to them by tonight. But I have no idea what a bratwurst even is. Help me out. You've just posted cringe. Science rules. What is the branch of science that deals with topics like heat? Hey, that works for me. Straight from the scene of some old battle from some old war, it's a rusty old biplane! Had to pry some poor sap skeleton out from the cockpit, but hey, it's probably salvageable, right? You did it! You've got the biggest brain of all! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. Ha, I'd like to see that promise pepper over at Google Boots put on half a show as good as this. This episode is sponsored by Smart Technologies. For real, thanks, fellas. The studio wants more, so it's time for Shovelware's Brain Game! The reason he's wearing a bow tie is because he's dressed as a game show host. It's the Dancing Banana!
trains, planes, and automobiles. There's a mechanical device that is a type of wedge on Boeing's 727 aircraft that are designed to prevent the air stair on the back of the plane to be lowered mid-flight. What is this device named after? Nonsense non sequiturs. Okay, look, I'm gonna level with you. I'm already running out of ideas for questions. I'm just going to play some white noise for the next 10 seconds and then throw some choices up on the screen just to pick from them at random. Zoo Pals Taxonomy It's how various living organisms are classified. You've got kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. The further down the list you go, the more specific definition you have of any creature. Under what family would you find dogs? Big laundry. Hey, so shoelaces, right? What are those little tips on the ends called again? Math Zone! The Tiger Poster! What is 36 plus 4?
Talking about states. <laughs> what state would something be said to be in if it was old, broken, and falling apart? Big laundry. So imagine you're in a clothing store. You overhear a conversation between two people. Oh, yeah, I'm totally into beanies right now. Beanies, huh? No, I'm more into deer stalkers. I mean, how fetching, right? Deer stalkers? What is this? The 1800s? No, if you're gonna pick a weird one, it's gotta be fezzes. What type of clothing are those two weirdos, I mean people, talking about? Sure, whatever. Shovelware Studios. <laughs> this one is about a heavily redacted military operation. What did Project Jolly require the players to deposit to build Mecha Claws? Oh, that's just plain wrong. <laughs> A miniature version of the famous statue, the Thinker. Just think of all its many uses. Hmm. 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 I think you could think of one if you thought about it long enough. <laughs> You're this episode's grand champion! That's the end of this exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game! Signing off from Shovelware Studios Hollywood! This episode is sponsored by Lazy Brand Lazy Obstacles, the leading supplier of red plastic rectangles that can sometimes be interpreted as luck. Speaking of which, you should play my hobby sometime. I worked really
We've been filming non-stop for weeks, and at this point, I honestly kind of just want to go home. But instead, I'm here announcing that it's time for Shovelware's Brain Game! What time is it? Time to bring out the host of the show, the one, the only, Dancing Banana! Talking about states. Did you know that over 25% of all the cheese in the U.S. is made in one state? Gouda grief! That's a lot of cheddar! Which state is up to this? <laughs> nope! Talking about states. Which of the 50 U.S. states was the most recent to join the Union? Science rules. What is missing from these steps of the scientific method? Observation, research, blank, test, analyze, report. Math Zone Okay, let's say I have three dozen apples. I realize that's an absolutely absurd number of apples to have on my person and chuck two dozen out of the window of my car on the way home from Marsh's grocery store, shattering windows and causing extensive property damage. How many apples do I have left in this completely hypothetical scenario? Math Zone Can you solve this math equation? It's lit, fam! <laughs> 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 
To be or not to be? That is not the question. The question is, who wrote the famous play Hamlet? Amazing space. I've learned recently about the hypothetical eventual heat death of the universe, and I'm really freaking out here, man. How long do we have? A year? A week? A day? You gotta tell me so I can stop freaking out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Math zone. So if you needed to write 200 questions for a quiz show, and you only got 60 of them done, um, how many more would you have left to write? Uh, asking for a friend. <laughs> You've just posted cringe. Uh, Eyes on the prizes. One of the prizes you could win is a brand new card. What is the suit on the card? Big laundry. Because my pen pal from Japan helps fill in for her mother at the inn they run, she's often wearing a specific type of traditional clothing. It's also the national dress of the country. What is it? Good enough! It's lit, fam. I want to go to Neverland so I never have to grow up. Older than I already have. I am an adult man. <laughs> Look, once I get to Neverland, which mischievous boy would I meet with so I could become one of the lost boys? I mean men. <laughs> mm. 
No way! <laughs> Zoo Pals uh, why do things keep evolving into crabs? Across history, crustacean species keep evolving into creatures that we'd recognize as crabs. It's freaky. In fact, it's happened so many times that there's an actual scientific term for it. Um, what is that term? From Has Been Gaming, it's the Shovelware's Brain Game Home Version! This deluxe board and card game kit includes an intricately detailed recreation of the Brain Game set, a complete set of questions and their answers, six player tokens, and even your very own miniature audience! Get the whole family involved in a fun, exciting, and most importantly, edutaining game of Shovelware's Brain Game, right from the comfort of your very own living room! Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. <laughs> I like to see that pompous pepper over food look games put on half a show as good as this. This episode is sponsored by Smart Technologies. For real, thanks, fellas.